You're watching Three Pound Fishing, sponsored by these great companies. What's up guys, I'm at Corfield Crappie Gear in Kentucky and today I'm picking up my mounts for the new boat. So a lot of work being done on the boat and one of the most important things is having a good solid mount on it because we're gonna be hitting those waves and if you saw the Lake Washington episode, you remember that that was 22 miles an hour, probably four or five foot rollers and those mounts didn't budge an ounce. I mean, just didn't move an inch, I should say. So we're here gonna show me the new mounts and ah, the dogs here hey what's up hey you guys remember mark we got mark and nate and uh yeah check it out man you've got the setup going on right now this is the new that we talked about earlier this is our new style we kind of upgraded the mounts a little bit 3-8 stainless steel hex head bolt and we redesigned it, changed everything to use a half inch Allen head bolt. This is by far a heavier bolt, obviously. We went to fine thread, there's stronger threads. We've done all this to make it, try to elevate it up to be the best, heaviest, studious mount that we can build. And my thoughts on the Allen wrench style is, once it's in here, it's smooth in the face. It's kind of sunk down in there, it looks really nice. But for the guys that's traveling and everybody's worried about their electronics getting stolen, which happens, uh, you can put those knob blocks on there. Uh, I forget what they're called. I know the, the only way they're going to be able to steal your mount off the boat boat is the guy's going to have to have a 3 8 Allen wrench in his pocket or a Sawzall. I guess you cut it off if you want to get crazy. But So this, a guy could have used a pair of pliers or maybe had a crescent wrench or something in his pocket and got it right off there. But this, the only way you're going to get it out is a 3 8 Allen wrench. So I feel like that gives us a little bit more safety on our, our setup. Ready? Come out of the machine, raw piece of aluminum, all been machined to what we need. We have went and machined and broke all the edges, no sharp edges, cleaned up everything. We run it through another machine to deburr it a little bit, smooth everything up, give it a uniform finish. And then we send it out to a company to have a black anodize on it. Anodize is an electrical chemical process where they dip it through several tanks and hit it with electricity. They color it and then it adheres to the aluminum. It actually sticks to the aluminum with the electricity, so it makes a good, hard, nice surface black. And then our stuff, we come back after it's been anodized and engrave the name on the machine in the arm on each one of them. And we got a little corn stock over here for fun. <laughs> good stuff. So our cornfield crappie really makes it easy for me because I love promoting just the next level type of equipment and these mounts are definitely it. State of the end, Mark's working on a special project and he's actually gonna share some of that information with us. So state of the end, you'll see it. If you're into live scope, folks, he's got something coming. So on the uh, front of my boat, I'm gonna be using a double mount for live scope in the Helix 10. So Mark's got this awesome set up this double mount upgraded everything a little bit because the all the larger units that's out there we went with a half inch thick plate here we added a couple more threaded holes Laurent 16 inch unit and like i said we put the bolts in here to keep it smooth it looks nicer but you'll have to have this wrench to make it work and then we added four holes here so what that allows you to do once you get this set on the boat you might be able, you can take this out and move this, this plate, this plate, and the center plate up and down to get an adjustment on the height. And then we got adjustment where you can lay it down here, all around, it just, there's the, the adjustment on this is just endless. We have the little smiley faces in here where these can rotate. Okay. Not really necessary on the double mount, but right. when you go to the single mount on the console, right. you might need to just tip your screen a little bit. Gotcha. So you can tip it, tighten those down. and That's heavy duty. It's heavy. It, it weighs five pounds, but we wanted something that was meaty and it's going to yeah. take the beating. I remember yeah. in uh, Lake Washington, these things didn't budge one iota. Yeah. And, and, and Wade has actually a longer, an extended arm. Yeah. Uh, what we had so, to do is you had to stick it way out on his. Yeah. I don't know how far that arm is, but that thing never moved. And so we were always very impressed by that. Speaking okay, we got different length arms. You can see the difference and from one to the other on, on the height. See, those are those two are the same. We got a six, an eight, a 10, and a 12. So that, that's just the, the, the dimension of this right here. So you can up and down or two or closer to you or away from you. 
and what we got, this one's loose so I can show you everything on the adjustment. I mean, you can do this, I mean, you can set that low, you can click it up wherever it needs to be. This rotates around here. Some guys, they've had it here and decided, man, that's too close to me. We'll turn it around like that and then run it like this. It just changed almost four inches going from one side to the other. Then we added this, the smileys in the top so you get this. Gotcha. That way on the, on the, the console you might need to, and then we've actually added a, a pivot point here where you can turn it this way. Because sometimes on the console it needs to be tipped and turned. So we got it all. I mean, it's the amount of movement in this thing's crazy. mount manufacturer out there. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff out there, and I'm not saying ours is the best, but there's a lot of good stuff out there, and, and I want to be right there at the top of having the top stuff. Right. I don't want it to fail. I want it to hold everything, and that's that's what we're striving for. So yeah. we upgraded this from what we had. We had a really good mount, yeah. but we decided to make it even heavier. Wow. Because, you know, we had a, it's not so much over the water a lot of the time, it's going down the road. If you're a, tra yeah. if you travel to the to the all the tournaments and stuff it's a lot of over road beating right. and banging I'm guys right. travel from illinois to mississippi just to fish fun fish for the weekend the tournament guys man they yeah. beat the road hard and right. the road's tearing the stuff up so we wanted to make this thing super heavy and the big bolts and everything so they'll handle all that yeah. well i've teamed up with low pro rod rack jeff jeff's a good dude Jeff does awesome quality work. I've been talking to him for probably three years back and forth on stuff. And this is Jeff's low pro rod or rod rack. It's his 360 mount for an Altair or Altrex train, uh, trolling motor. So what we've done is we've made a clamp and we use our tube and then the, that's just a stand on the bottom, but you can mount your transducer on here for your live scope, mount this to the trolling motor and your live scope will only look straight forward. That's how I have it set up on my boat for my style and how I'm fishing. That works best for me. Some guys, we have the original one that will turn with the trolling motor. So some guys want it to be mounted to the trolling motor so that they can point it with the trolling motor. Some guys want it to look straight forward. We got this unit to look straight forward. And we need to talk to Jeff on his new one. He has the best hand operated, mounted on the trolling motor, mount I've seen and I've looked at all of them on Facebook and everywhere else. The quality of this, he's run a shaft through here, he's got a hand thing that comes off of it, you can turn it and we've made a mount to go onto here to mount your 360 onto this. Gonna hand deliver the mounts from crappie gear, cornfield crappie gear, straight to that. What's up? This is your single mount right here. Okay. There you go. Go through that. Then you got your double mount. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you're looking at doing any type of upgrade to your boat, consider Cornfield Crappie Gear. These mounts are fantastic. And these guys are just innovators in the industry. You gotta love visiting their shop.